Hey Scorpio, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today we're delving into the next 48 hours, what to expect, followed by a financial read, okay? So um, that'll be towards the end of the reading. Scorpio, I don't know what's going on with you. It's like a stale-ass energy, okay? Scorpio, if you've been stale because things have been stagnant in your life, then this is the reading for you. <clears throat> Remember that this can play out past, present, and future. So take it how it resonates, if it resonates for you. Any and everything that has to do with the channel or myself will be down below in the description box. I do want to say thank you for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, donations, bookings, support any kind to the brand, as well as the channel is greatly appreciated. Let's go ahead and delve into Scorpio's energy for the next 48 spirit, please. And thank you. Mm-hmm. Three of Pentacles. You've been really at home a lot, Scorpio. I can see you like being in the house a lot so much that you're like re-cleaning up things that you already cleaned up. I see somebody like shifting furniture around and you just moved it just the other day. It's a queen of wands in your life or that you want to be in your life. Somebody that's real passionate, they real fiery, they just different, you know. This person is very beautiful or very handsome. Three of cups, but there is somebody else here. I feel like you're dealing with someone. <clears throat> hmm, let me just pull one more. Damn, five of cups. You could have been dealing with someone at one point in time and dealing with this person as well. Because I see you being single right now. Seven of coins. It's like you're being patient on a connection with the ten of wands here. But something here is a burden. Okay, I feel like at one point in time, there was another option here. I don't even see that person in the storyline at all right here besides reference to a third party here and it's like maybe you chose the third party and you're no longer dealing with that person but you still think about this queen of wands okay this could be a leo sagittarius aries or somebody that's just a real passionate energy yeah with the ace of pentacles in reverse I really feel like you feel as though you missed out on st structure, stability, the type of relationship that you were really want to have. And now there is some type of burden here. I feel like you're alone, or at least you feel to be alone, like single. Yes, you know, but I, I'm pulling up on the energy of someone that may feel a little lonely with the two of wands here. There is some type of decision that you do want to make. You could be watching somebody from afar, watching somebody on social media that you want to pursue. And I see this as that Leo, that Leo Sagittarius Aries or just fiery energy. Yeah, with the Knight of Cups, you want to deal with this person again. Okay, Eight of Swords, you all in your head about it. You don't know how to proceed moving forward, though. So for a lot of you all, you just playing it cool right now, okay? But you are looking from a glance, okay? You're in this emperor energy where you want to control a situation here. You want to come in and dominate a situation. You may even want to dominate this person. I see you as an entrepreneur, okay? There are many things um, that are coming towards you, like financial means, you know, I see the fruits of your labor coming towards you, but it's like everything is coming towards you but this person. And you want them to come towards you because this person is literally your happiness. You can want to have a child with this person as well. Scorpio, that's what I'm seeing. But something here is stagnant. It's like you shoulda, coulda, woulda, or you shoulda chose this person before. Yeah, with the three of swords here, there is heartbreak. That's the burden here. And how can you fix it? With the four swords here, I really see someone that is thinking about ways to fix this heartbreak. Because you see the three of swords up here and then that ace of swords right there. I really see that you're trying to heal yourself. You're trying to find ways to heal this connection. Let me get one more. Why the four of swords and the two of wands? Yeah, four of cups. A missed opportunity. Eight of Cups, where you walked away from something that you really wanted, okay? But you walked away from it, okay? Now you're watching it. Page of Swords for social media, okay? With the Justice card in reverse, it's like watching it at a glance. Queen of Pentacles. This person is very financially stable now, okay? You're noticing that they're moving up. Something that they could have been working on is starting to come to fruitation for them. It's starting to bring them some type of structure, okay, in their life. 
some type of financial abundance in their life and for their children. This could be a single parent. Moving on forward for the next 48 hours, Scorpio, something is hidden, okay? I feel as though something that has to do with your energy is hidden. Queen of Cups. Wow. That you want to offer to this person, but you feel as though that they're going to reject your offer. Okay, you want to have some type of grand gesture. Maybe you want to have flowers delivered to their house. It's something like that, okay? Nine of Pentacles energy. You feel as though this person doesn't need anything from you, okay? You wonder, will they even take your flowers? Will they even take your package? There's that Three of Swords energy again. See, something here is beyond repair, and I feel as though you want to repair it. You're coming out of your head like, look, I want to avoid this, but it's damn near like what's already done is done with the death card here. You want to transform it, though, but I don't think this person is going to receive you the way that you want them to. With the two of wands here, you're coming out of your head. It's like, it's like you pounce on this person right when you see them making some type of decision, right? When you see them make some type of status or, you know, a shift, they move different and you're like, damn, I need to hop on this. Yeah, definitely someone from your past for a past situation. And you're like, I really want to act on this now with the temperance card in reverse. Something has not been healed between you and this person. In the next 48 hours, you're going to try to balance it out. You're going to try to give what you can now, okay? Try to right your wrongs. With the Knight of Swords, I really feel as though you're about to speak up and you're about to go towards someone, okay? That you have been kind of watching from a glance here. You don't want it to be a missed opportunity. You're going to try to rewrite the past. With the Magician card here, you are fully capable of doing this. And your plan is to go back and admit you were wrong in a situation, you know, right your wrongs and then try to manifest this person. Damn, with the six of wands in reverse. Oh, I don't think it's going to turn out how you want it to in the next 48 hours with the king of cups here. This person looks very pissed off. Scorpio, I got to be all the way honest. I don't think this is going to turn out the way that you want it to. With the Hierophant here, this is going to turn out as a lesson, okay? With the Page of Wands here, there, this is going to turn out to be a lesson for you, okay? A message is going to come in like, look, I, I have to focus more on my finances. That's what this person is going to say. With the Nine of Wands here, I feel like you have tough skin, though, you know? But adding another wand to this Nine of Wands only brings more burden, so I feel like it may come off as you're forcing a situation, okay? It may come off as forcing a situation. So in finances, in finances, you could be being called to turn on your individuality and express yourself, okay? A career in any finances, art, artistic endeavor could be great for you, okay? And perhaps you could discover a new talent um, that helps you make some new money, okay? In the meantime, don't get too caught up. You know, worry on your comfort, okay? Because you don't want to have any blocked energy that begins to block your finances, okay? Though exactly you're not... Ex I can't even say that because for a lot of you, I feel like you feel like you're rich, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. Though you're not exactly rich, you will be living comfortably, okay? You're entering into the most comfortable period in your life and your finances will be in a state of balance and harmony, okay? Here's that rebel energy, that Scorpio energy, right? You're a trailblazer. And you're meant to see things differently and follow a different path, okay? Your rebellious spirit makes you a great system buster to teach others a better way. An old belief about money could be preventing you from getting ahead, okay? You, there could be some type of energy of you not believing that you could make money off of the ideas that you have, off of a hobby here. And it's like in your comfort, in the comfort of your own home, you're going to just get to doing your hobby or doing something that you love. And then you're going to get an idea. And that idea is going to spark some financial abundance, okay? Media. Uh, step into the spotlight and get seen. So it's like market this, market this hobby, market this, um, what you have to offer, right? 
A career in television, magazines, radio, or mass media may be good for you as well, or marketing, you know? Um, it's time for you to get more publicity if you want to increase your finances, okay? The bottom deck is caution, though. Use caution when making financial decisions. Careful not to overspend on wants instead of needs. There is an energy of you needing to make sure that you don't have more going out than you have coming in, okay? Know that success will find you, all right? And there is an office energy here where you need to think of the greater good than oneself to achieve a better outcome, all right? Consider careers in administrative or management roles, okay? We definitely see that with that entrepreneur energy of the emperor, okay? Manage your time better and or delegate tasks to be more productive, okay? So definitely get in that more organized energy and success will definitely find you. You may be called to give to others um, around this time of success, okay? So be mindful of that, okay? If there are some sob stories that come towards you, not to say it like that. You may be called to help others, okay, during this time in a most non-selfish way. And I feel like you're going to be able to see that, okay? A lot of you all may even promote giveaways for the, less, for the less needy or for just those that are in need. But I see a lot of marketing there here, all right? There is a new idea or a project that could be manifesting for you, all right? So your advice, before I close out this read, Scorpio, what is Scorpio's advice? Your 11-year-old self, okay, delve into your inner child, okay? Delve into that creative aspect of you that was free from judgment before the outside world began to make you judge yourself, allow self-judgment to creep in. I feel as though you're a star seed, okay? So you need to practice this creativity because the very thing that you have to offer what's different about you is the very thing that we need you to release out into the world, okay? So be mindful of that. You need to remain in this rebel-like energy, okay? Because coming soon, welcome to the next ascendant age, all right? You're gonna have some type of ascension here. How can this be a one wonderful win-win outcome, all right? Know that this can turn out for the good for you, okay? It's like turning something around that you thought was a bad thing, being vulnerable, okay? That freedom actually allowed you to blossom into something more. See, the hero of your cosmic journey, something about you spreading your truth, okay? And we have galactic grandmother. You may have a grandmother energy that is with you, but this talks about manifestation as well. With the ancestor here, you definitely have an ancestor that is with you. And it's like they're giving you that little bit of boost when you feel yourself falling down because things aren't turning out the way that you want them to, Scorpio, okay? I feel as though just because one situation doesn't work out, it allows you to get in this rebel-like energy where you can create something else, but something else that you haven't thought of because you need to shift and be in another type of energy, okay, where you can think of something different. So in the next 48 hours, I see you wanting to pursue someone here. Wanting to rewrite a past, okay, a past mistake that you feel like you had making with someone in a relationship, okay? It's like an option that you had, a choice between two. And it's like, although something didn't work out with the person that you chose, it's almost like you want to go back to the other person. And you do try to do that. Aside from, you know, becoming this successful person, the successful entrepreneur at that, I really feel like you tried to pursue a past situation. And although it looks very promising, it doesn't turn out the way that you want it to. But a lesson here is learn, all right? And the lesson is to go for what it is that you want. Learn to follow your heart, but take your brain with you. And when you do so, magical things are going to happen. 
I really see you needing to do things that involve self-love or something, some type of passion that you had growing up as a child or some way of thinking that you had. Like maybe you were a lot more free, freedom of uh, self-judgment and you were able to express yourself a lot more. I see you picking that up now and it creating you a lot of more finances and stability in the future. So if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. If you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thanks for your love and support as always. Until then, peace and love.